What do real estate agents do in our spare time? There are two focuses that we take on the daily, at least the way that I run my business. One is working in my business and the other is working on my business. And one does not work without the other. So working in my business are the kinds of activities that you would recognize with real estate agents. So going out, running around and doing showings for people, for potential buyers, uh, listing homes for sale and doing those activities, writing up and negotiating offers. Also all the research that goes behind that. So doing that as well in order to put those homes up for sale at the right price, in order to put the offers in at a reasonable price, all of that, plus advising and helping our clients. So all of those activities are part of working in our business and our daily activities, but there's also the component of working on our business. So we do work for ourselves. We're independent contractors. That means that we have to take care of running an entire business ourselves on the side whenever we have that spare time. So the activities in terms of working on our business include marketing and branding. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Whenever we're doing that kind of branding level marketing, we're putting ourselves out there, making ourselves recognize to the world so that we can work on getting other clients, getting people to recognize and want to work with us. Activity number two in working on our business, lead generation activities. I could do a whole video about that and I might. That is basically working to get new clients. So how do we source out where we can find clients? We're constantly having to work on making sure that we get ourselves out there and get clients on board so that we have a next um, paycheck to look forward to down the road. Um, third is accounting. So yes, we do have to work on our own accounting generally, at least our own bookkeeping because we're doing a lot of expenditures on marketing and on say working on listing um, expenses and things like that. Um, fourth is client appreciation. So that one is personally important to me. Um, thanking my clients and showing them my appreciation in one way or another is a big component to me working on my business. Making sure that my clients are happy is a big component to my branding. And lastly, education. So whether that's formal education, uh, realtors do have to take courses to become realtors, um, but also we take continuing education courses formally. Informally, we can do things like participate in seminars, conferences, we can do online learning, and I pay into and participate in a lot of that as well, so that we can keep current. We know what's going on in real estate and we know how to be better for our clients in order to run a better business. But if you are doing one more than the other, your business might suffer. So for example, real estate never sleeps. Real estate happens when it happens. Um, so at any point I can go get a call, say even right now, stopping this video um, and have to run off and do a showing. So that could stop all the paperwork of working on my business that I have on my desk and I have to suddenly go out and work in my business. That that can take over but if it does you got to be good at time management you got to be good at working on your toes because otherwise you might not have a client once working in your business is over so if you have any more questions about that or anything else or you want to work with me in my business check out naomi knight real estate.com